Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here today to share a few unboxings with you. I've gathered some of these items over the last few weeks and I thought I'd just share them all with you here. If you see my last video, I did a tutorial on how to change a Chanel card holder or wallet into a mini handbag by essentially putting a chain on it. And I'm not talking about, you know, just tucking a chain under the flap. I'm talking about an actual piece that you can slide into the uh, SLG and then turn it into a shoulder bag. If you're interested in how I've done that, it's actually quite an easy process and not too pricey. Um, I will link that below. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love fashion, travel, and luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. Like I said, today's video is an unboxing and I have a couple of brands that I love sitting right here ready to be unboxed. I thought I'd share them with you. I also have coupon codes and links in the description box below. So definitely check it out if you're interested in any or all of these items. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a uh, the box right here and then maybe hop here and then hop back. I don't know. We'll, I'll play it by ear, but sitting right here is a very pretty sapphire blue box. If you've been here before, you'll know that I have been loving Sarah Flint. Sarah Flint is a brand founded by Sarah Flint herself. And so she's quite the woman entrepreneur. She's been doing this for, I think, almost 10 years now, uh, but her all of her shoes, all of her accessories are of high quality. They're made in Italy. So I have really loved them since my first pair of shoes. So I'm gonna show you what I have here. Um, yeah, <laughs> then we can talk. Again, I love this little like, detail, the like uh, fabric material, beautiful print. And I'm just gonna take both of these out. That's the rest of the box. Any guesses what this might be? Um, my first pair of Sarah Flint shoes and the one that I currently love a lot and wear the most is a pair of Natalie flats, which I'll pop a picture here. These ones are another pair of flats. I thought I would give it a try because I love their flats so much. Um, this is the a different style, but it's a beautiful. These are the Saketo flats and they are, wow, this, they come in many different colors, but these are so gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but it's this beautiful bronzy rose gold color. And then the cap toe here is slightly different. It reminds me a lot of the Chanel ballet flats where, where the cap toe is a little bit different than the rest of the shoe. And it's got that little pearl. Let me bring it closer. Just, just so you know, each one of these uh, pairs of shoes here did come with its own little dust bag in that beautiful floral print. So um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Here we go. This is a pair of rose gold with the cap toe. I don't know if you can see in this beautiful fabric um, that's also kind of rose gold and beige. And it's got like a, it's an, I wouldn't say it's a pointed toe. It's definitely more of a square toe. Um, and then also this beautiful pearl button. Now, like I said, they do have other types of colors and materials, but they're all kind of the same in that it has this uh, square toe with a button. Sometimes the button is just a cover button. In this case, this one's a pearl. These are the only pairs with a pearl, so I definitely gravitated towards these. Kind of goes well with my outfit, I would think. <laughs> but yeah, these are beautiful. They're leather lined on the inside and on the outside, and it has a non-slip back right here, and then also a non-slip heel. And these ones are so soft, and I'll just show you real quick. One of the great um, advantages of the Saketo is that they sew the insole right here with the outsole, so that's one piece, so it's very flexible. And just, just touching it right now, it feels lighter and more flexible than my Natalie flat. So I think actually, these ones are gonna be more comfortable than the Natalie flats, especially on the get-go. These ones like the Natalie flats are made in Italy and they are beautifully handcrafted, at least from what I can see right now. I will of course do a review of these just like I did with my Natalie flats once I used it for a few months, just so that I can get a 
general sense of wear and tear and comfort and pros and cons but oh my gosh right away i already love them and they always come out with different colors and styles so i will link a few below these are beautiful they feel so nice on the feet as well i can't wait to start wearing them i probably will bring them to my next vacation i think because they're so light that like it's it's gonna be and it's so pretty like I could see myself wearing it like I said with my outfit today I'm wearing a skirt but I could see it with dresses I could see it with shorts I could see it with oh my gosh like je just jeans oh these will be so beautiful I would definitely check out some of the other colors that they have by the way I do have a $50 off code for you if it's your first pair of Sarah Flint shoes um, I will link that below I um, you can either get $50 off using the code that I'll list here or through the link which uh, I'll list in the description box below either way will get you $50 off of your first pair I think I'm going to switch over to this side right here. I have a box that says Dior. As you can see, it is beautiful. It's in their pebbled box, uh, pebbled white box with the gold writing and uh, white and gold ribbon. Oh my gosh, I love this little bow. It's so cute. Here we go there is a very pretty sticker right there I always try not to rip the sticker but I always end up ripping it so let's just Ooh. I don't know if you can see that but it is a <laughs> gold I mean there's do you see a trend here <laughs> Okay, so this is not something I bought. Oh, it's see-through actually. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little bag there. Oh, it's cute. So the top, there's actually a little thing that says Jadior and it has a little zipper pull and yeah, you open it up like that and it's basically see-through so you can see through it. Um, yeah, it's just a very meshy, but like sturdy mesh. Um, yeah, this will be great for the beach, I think. Like you put your, you know, essentials in here and then just take it and if it gets wet, it doesn't matter kind of thing. I mean, assuming the things inside is okay to get wet. <laughs> so that's the first item in here. This is actually a gift with purchase. I did not buy this. I don't think you can buy it, but yeah, it's, it's kind of neat. I, I love the color. And like I said, it kind of goes well with my shoes. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Um, I have a little baggie. This is, uh, in like a little cotton bag. This one is probably just my uh, samples and ooh, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. So there are many of these little tiny perfumes, I believe. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so this one's Sakura. I also have a Bois d'Argen, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then there's one more in here that's called uh, Jasmine de Anges. Anges? Anges? I cannot pronounce these French names, but let me open up one of them for you. They're beautiful. Like, ooh, these are so cute. Look at that. So these are their, this is a, um, yeah, this is a glass bottle. So these are their perfumes that um, they sell in full size. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I mean, this one is obviously jasmine scent, but it's like a sweet jasmine, so it's beautiful. Oh, this looks so cute on the vanity. These are tiny, by the way. Like, um, let me see if I could see the sizing. Uh, so this is an, a sample, a gift, a deluxe gift. It is 7.5 mils, so it's, it's quite small, but it's so cute. And so I got three of them, which is, lovely i also have this sample looks like this is the prestige line and it's the oil serum um oil so uh i actually have this one i really like it so th these are great for like the plane if you travel so you don't have to bring a big bottle with you and then what else okay so i have two of these little these are um two mil samples so unlike the 7.5 mils these are two mils and these ones are the are definitely travel sprays so as you can see there this one is called vanilla uh, diorama so i don't know if we'll focus there we go 
Ooh, it smells heavily of vanilla, but it's like a like a, like a sensual vanilla. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, so that was this one's a is an ode. Yeah, it's an eau de parfum. And then here is Oud Itzafen, also a two mil little vial. Can't really smell it too much. I think I'm like just, there's just too much, too many perfumes now. I can't really smell. All right, so what else is in this box? Um, there's a lot of like tissue paper, uh, these little streamers that says Dior all over it. Um, oh, okay, this is another gift. I, I'm just going through the gifts. This one is um, Aja Dior Per Parfum. So it's a little in the little miniature size bottle right there. Very cute. Um, this one is plastic or glass. It's a five mil bottle. So it's a little bit smaller than the first one I showed you, but beautiful nonetheless on the vanity. All right, so now these are the actual two items that I purchased. The first one is Oh right, this is the eye and this is this is not that exciting, but it's the eye and lip makeup remover. Um, I bought this because I was out, so I thought I'd give this one a try from Dior. It's a bi layer, so you can kind of see that the oil layer on the top is right there floating, and you're supposed to like mix it up so that you could remove um, what like waterproof makeup um, for your eyes and lips. So there we go, and. I don't really smell any scents, but yeah, there's a very small hole at the top so that you only, you don't pour too much out, but yep, here we go. I will keep you posted on how I like this one. Like I said, I am out, so I hope this one's good. Um, yeah, it looks, looks like it could be good. And then finally in this box is here. This is the thing that I'm very most excited about uh, because it is new. Uh, this is their Jadior Parfum Dough, and it is basically a eau de parfum, but it's made of just flowers and water. There is no alcohol in here, it's alcohol free. So I really like that because it's um, very natural and alcohol is known to dry out your skin anyway. So I don't, it's not something I wanna spray on myself, but perfumes always have those just, I think for like just aerosolizing and getting onto your skin and then evaporating, but they found a way to extract the flowers, the scent of the flowers with just water. So it says here, Jadior, the closest to flowers, an exclusive and innovative alcohol-free Dior formula, a fragrance application that is intense with a natural feel, a concentrate of flowers and water spray in a generous mist. Okay, so let's let's open this. Um, there's a little Dior sticker right there. Oh, it's beautiful. I actually think the little sample that I showed you earlier is this one. Yeah, it's got the same. Yeah, so there's a travel size I have here as well. But this bottle is glass and it's a little different than the Ja Dior ones, which is see-through. This one actually is opaque white, which looks very pretty. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's not It's not white. I'm just trying to show it's not white because of my shirt that's white, but it's actually white because it that's the bottle. Um, you open it, let's see. Yep, just by pulling it up and then here's the spray. It's beautiful so um i'm just gonna spray it and see what it smells like Ooh, you see that mist it's so oh my gosh it smells beautiful it smells beautiful and when you spray perfume and then you try to smell it it's like it chokes you because there's so much alcohol this one i put it straight into my face and it did not smell like toxic like, you know, because there's no alcohol. It smells really good. It almost has like a, almost like a soap, like after you've washed your hands kind of feel. Um, I'm sure it's the concentrate that's from here that's onto my skin now. So, wow, it smells beautiful. Um, so if you like the scent of Ja Dior, um, you're in luck because now they have an alcohol-free option. So if you are interested, I will link this below. There are two sizes. I got this in the smaller of the two. So I got it in the 50 mils, um, but you can certainly get the bigger size. And I think it's a better value for money, but yeah, I'll link this below. It, it smells so good.
and I love that it just doesn't have alcohol like I yeah so I, I, I'm interested to see without the alcohol formula if this will last just as long as the one with alcohol um, but I'll keep you posted all right so the last item that I'm gonna unbox is sitting right here I'm gonna move these guys down it is in this box this is another pair of sarah flint shoes i have been in love actually i've ordered one more item from them so uh, i will be unboxing that in the near future so definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i unbox that one i've seen their fall and winter 2022 lineup it's beautiful and the other the the one item that i did get from them it may not be the only one, but the one that I've got so far is from that collection and I cannot wait to show you how versatile it is. It's not a pair of shoes. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in seeing what it is. All right, so this one is a pair of shoes and um, let me just get right into it. Don't know if you have any guesses what this might be. Oops. So this is the uh, receipt and the thing that fell out was who packed it again it's that beautiful fabric lining do you, I don't know if you've, you've ordered from Sarah Flint but what do you guys do with this fabric it's so beautiful I don't toss them out but I don't know what to do with it so I'm curious what people have been doing all right so I'm going to take both pairs out let's empty now and I don't know if you have any guesses what this might be. It is very similar to the first pair that I have from Sarah Flint and it is the Natalie Slingbacks. So it has the same Natalie look at the front which is a very subtle but unique bow and instead of a pair of flats which just you know covers up here it's in a slingback version. So let me take out the other pair. Again, I love the dust bags that it comes with. Okay, so let me just bring it closer. Here we go. Take these off, actually. So these are the slingback versions, and oh my gosh, look how beautiful they look. This is in their soft yano leather. So the, the pair of saketo that I showed you is a Napa leather, which is like a lambskin. This one's like a heat pressed one, so it's a lot more durable. It's in this beautiful gold color and I just love it. Like you can dress it up or down because it's metallic. You can see that it can be dressed up for like an evening, um, but then look, the heel is so, it, there's a little bit of heel, but it's so tiny that you won't get tired wearing them. And I, oh my gosh, it just looks so beautiful. There's a non-slip pad right there and then non-slip heel, which is like the saketo that I showed you before. And what is unique about this pair of slingbacks is that you can see there's a lot of padding all around the shoe right here i don't know if you can see that all around and even on the back right here and on the front i can't i can't really show you inside but there is padding along even the top and around the edges of the shoe making it even more comfortable than the Natalie's. So truth be told, the Natalie's did take me a while to break in. I would say it took maybe a handful of wears before I was like, okay, I can wear this for a long period of time. Just putting this on just now, I feel like it definitely feels a lot more comfortable and would not require that break in period. Now, of course, these are not, you know, running shoes. They're not sneakers. So they're not meant to be like walking on air, but for how, like beautiful and unique and like just um more of like a dressy shoe it is i think it is very comfortable and definitely more comfortable than the natalie flats so if your feet are more um particular um i would maybe check this pair out if you like the natalie look i also did try on the saccato just now and oh my gosh it is so comfortable it's so like soft and supple that it moves with your foot it kind of just like in, like it's like a cloud around your feet kind of things. So these two pairs that I've shown you here just now are definitely more comfortable than other pairs of shoes from Sarah Flint that I own. Um, more comfortable in the sense that it's more soft and more like malleable. Um, but who knows over time what that would mean. I will definitely keep you posted on this pair, these saccados, um, and then like just how they wear and also um, 
just how they compare. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I am going to do an updated review video. And just for sizing, um, I got these in a size 36 and a half. I am usually a 36 or 36 and a half. And these ones generally, these are the saccados, and they generally fit a wider foot. Okay, so for me, I just took my regular size, but if you have narrow feet, you might wanna actually size down half a size. In contrast, these ones, I actually went up half a size. So in Sarah Flint, I am usually a 36 and a half. I never take a 36. And um, I actually had to take up a half size up from these. So I actually took a 37. So it's actually, it surprised me as well. But I am glad I sized up given what I've seen online because these fit me perfectly, even though I'm usually a 36 or 36 and a half in Sarah Flint's. I went up to a 37 for the sling back. So just like letting you know, it's probably better to take up half a size up from your Sarah Flint size. And if you're new to Sarah Flint, you might wanna go up half a size even for um, their shoes. The good thing about this pair of sling backs is that it is adjustable. So you'll see here, there are adjustable holes on the side here. So even if it's a little bit bigger for you, you can definitely size it down by moving the, adjusting the holes here, and then it won't slide off your feet. So I think this is actually a great pair, but just make sure you size up, especially if you have wide, normal or wider feet. All right, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed these unboxings. I would love to know if you grabbed any of these items. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links and for discount codes. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.